Hey, you guys, welcome to the podcast. I am so excited to be here with you guys and so excited to have you guys here. So we've had a little break from summer and we are diving back in this fall. I am super excited to and invigorated for this fall and moving forward, not only with the podcast, but with coaching and a lot of clarity and ideas that I've personally been working on and in transition of. So it's really excited to now be essentially on the other side, being able to speak to you guys about it. And I'll be sharing, I'm sure, a lot more podcast episodes about that and in general. And so to kick off this new season and this moving back into the podcast is I really wanted to share a little bit more about like, what is the ultra life? Like when you guys see that title, I feel like most of you guys, if you're here already, or when you're finding this, there's something obviously about that, that entices you, that resonates with you, that hits home for you. And so I want to break down what that means to me and what that really means for us as a collective and a community moving forward. Like, what is the ultra life? What do I stand for? What do we stand for? What is this space about? So that's what I want to share today. And these next few episodes are going to be about the ultra life. And so what that means to me essentially is three principles that have I've really come down. And this is not even just in the last, like, I would say month and a half of doing this work, but honestly, even in the last year, as I've deepened and transformed and been doing my own work, you come out the other side and you're, you have more clarity that's at least how I work. It's like I'm constantly growing and doing the work so I can come out the other side for you guys. So what's come out now is really three principles. And that is one, you can do more than you think. Two, you are not done. And three is you can have it all. So those are the three principles that make up an ultra life And in each episode, this one, we're going to talk about the first concept, the first principle, and then you're going to hear an episode on each of the following ones. So the first one, you can do more than you think. That is living an ultra life, is when you step into what that means is you're not just average we aren't average here. If you're in my crew, if you're with this gang, this community, we are not average. We are so far from average here. So that means like, for example, instead of just kind of like, well, I'll kind of do this in like a few months and then I'll hit this goal in like a year. And then maybe in five years, I'll do this. It's like, no, we fucking say I can do more than anybody or this world or my peers or what the industry is doing or what other people do. Like we go beyond that. We are ultra. We live in ultra life. We don't just settle for average or okay or or good even. No, this is about living an ultra life. That isn't just baby tiny, like, I'll kind of like go after this, make this or do this next level, just this like next up move. It's like, no, 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 no. We go here whenever we're working at a goal. Does that resonate with you guys? I know it must if you're here. So that, and I'll I'll just give this example. And I want you guys like in this example to like help really drive it home is so when I, I had run a couple marathons before I got into ultras. So let's just like note that here. Like maybe where you're at on your journey right now, you're not ready to say like, I'm ready to do the ultra life. And by the way, that does not, an ultra life does not mean running an ultra marathon. Okay. That's 
the modality that I chose to live in ultra life. And I also choose that for other areas of my life, but that is like what started it all, what I have 10 years of experience and expertise in to get to that ultra level where I know what it takes to run 50 miles, 40 miles, run an ultra while pregnant, run a hundred mile race. All of that, I have decided to choose ultra marathons to push, to learn, and to grow. You can choose whatever that is for you. It does not have to be ultra marathon running. You never, in fact, you never have to run a single step in your life if that's not your jam, if that's not your thing, if that's not a part of your ultra life. This isn't about like following in my footsteps and becoming an ultra runner or whatever goals I'm working towards. It's about what's an ultra life for you and you can do more than you think. Okay. So when I say that, even like when I, I started somewhere, right. I had done a couple marathons before I found the book born to uh, born to run by Chris, Christopher McDougall. If I'm saying his name, right. That's like the gateway drug to ultra marathons. If you did not know that already. Um, I, and this is like, over 10 years ago that this book came out. But I remember reading that book and just absolutely inhaling it. Like I could not put it, I remember falling asleep like with it on my face or on my bed because I was just like so, I could not put it down. I was so like enthralled and like curious and like what people do this? Like, and, and that resonated with me. That was like, I am this ultra life type of person, even though I hadn't run an ultra at that point, I was like, this is for me. I'm in sign me up. So I hadn't at that point, but once I found what that thing was, I said, yes. And I said, okay, this I'm freaking doing one of these things. And I did. And now here we are over 10 years later. Right? So I just want to share that example and that like one, knowing wherever your starting point is, is okay. This is not like a shame or judge if you haven't ever done anything like this before, if you're just joining the ultra life or you're curious about it, but you're not quite there yet to do whatever it is in any area of life, but just you have that there's something in you that knows you are meant for more, that knows you are meant for greatness. There is something you just cannot, it's this pull that like you can do more than you think right now, right? So whatever that pull is for each and every one of you, but that is a solid principle of like, even if you're not there yet, you have the desire to be there. You are inspired, you aspire to reach an ultra life, okay? So I invite all of you guys you're obviously, if you're listening to this here or sharing with your friends, like those that you know are meant for greatness. You guys talk about greatness. There's probably only a few of you amongst like, like ultra runners is like, I think it's like 0.01. I saw something the other day, 0.07, 0.07% run an ultra marathon. I saw this great statistic the other day um, on a high ticket sales coach who point, it's like 0.0001% are the top level of the sales coaches and, or of that level of income from sales. So you guys, so whatever area it is, but like, we are not like the average, anywhere close to being the average person. Okay. So that's you. This is the right space to be. And when you know that you can do more than you think, then this is the right space to be. And that is one of the principles of living the ultra life is that you can do more than you think. And so I want to take it back to stories of, so when I first read Born to Run and I felt the call, I was like, I want to do this. This sounds so freaking badass. Also just like note there. I didn't, I didn't hear or read about that and see that and was like, oh God, that sounds awful. There's no way I could do that. 
I was open and I was like, heck yes. I was like hungry. I was hungry. I started finding all the groups about ultra running. Back then there wasn't really too many books about it or podcasts weren't even a huge thing. I, I, whatever I could find, I was all in to figure out how the heck I was going to, what ultra marathon I was going to run, how the heck to do it, finding my community and my people. Those are all things we'll get to talk about more and later on, on how to live your ultra life. But all of that is like, I was hungry for it and I wanted it. So just, I want to check in with you guys where you're like, if you're not like hungry for your goals or whether that's your business, your relationship, your home, like whatever it is that you're just like, check in. This is a good, like, this is just a good side note, like check in with yourself. Like if you have a goal and it just feels like so much resistance and you kind of hate it and it's like, doesn't, it's not fun and you're finding yourself procrastinating, you're not doing all the things, you're not going all in, there's a reason. (laughs) There's something there for you to look at. I did not, and, and nor have I ever gone into any ultra marathon that I've done. I've done over 20 of them now. I've not gone into any of them being like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to train at 4 a.m. Oh, and I'm not saying I don't have my bad days, but like in general, I was hungry to figure out how to train and excited to do it and go out in the rain or the early mornings or whatever it is. So if you don't have that feeling of like, I'm hungry for this in your life, check in with yourself. Okay. Okay. Back on track. So I was hungry for this. I was excited for this. I found my first, uh, ultra marathon. It was the keys 50 miler, which was run on the started at marathon key and ran to key West. There was also a hundred mile option where you started at the very first key and ran to key West in May. So they, they liken this race to like bad water. Uh, I was living in South Florida at the time. So um, I was very much heat acclimated. And and now, of course, if you guys know me, I love the heat. I love me some heat races. It's like my, it's like my special superpower. Um, so that definitely transformed me in that way. But I signed up for this badass race, my first ultra marathon of 50 miles. And I had never done it before. You know, I had done a couple marathons, but I was telling myself I knew I could do more than that, right? Just that idea of you can do more than you think. So that was the first race that I signed up for and did. And then I've since then, there's been multiple different times where I'm thinking of the time I raced a uh, Black Mountain Monster pregnant six hour loop race. I was just doing my general training. I was 30, 28 weeks pregnant. Maybe I was 28 weeks pregnant. Um, and had not planned to do this race, but maybe like a week before I just was like itching. And I was like, I feel like I can do this. I want to do this. I asked my doctor, cleared it with her. She was like, you're a runner. You got this, go for it. So I signed up and I did it. I had a training base, but I hadn't been training for this necessarily. And I went down and had a freaking blast. I think we did like 28 or 30 miles that day. Um, Me and my buddy that was with Waylon. Um, But do you see here, like the trend of like, whether you have not achieved the thing ever before, it's the first time you're ever going to be doing crossing that line of doing more than you think, whatever area of life that is in that it's possible. And it's possible like not even to just do the like uh, kind of next steppy one, but like you can go do the 50 miler one that's in the Keys in May. That's like into Badwater as your first, you know, step into whatever ultra life goal that you have. Or even in my six hour running 28 weeks pregnant race, like I had a solid base, but I wasn't training for that necessarily. And I still fucking crushed it and did amazing with this big ass belly on me, (laughs) my little babe in there, like on a, essentially on a, a week's notice, I can, you can do more than you think. You guys, are you guys 
feeling that? Are you guys getting that? Okay, I'm going to give one more example of what this has looked like in my life to start to show you. I want you to explore one, where have you done this in your life? Start to build your own evidence so that you can start to see how you and your life can do more than you think. Go back. You can go back to your childhood. You can go back to whatever time it is. Maybe it was last year, whatever it is and whatever area of life to start to see how you did more than you even thought was possible. Okay. So the last one is my hundred mile race, which was a few years ago now. And it's my first hundred miler, which a lot of times, sometimes people don't even finish theirs. Right. I also chose a heat race. It was September in Florida. And, um, my training for that race, of course I had my base, but my training was probably like four, maybe five days a week of training, no more than 50 miles a week, uh, of running two times a week, most strength training, 20 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. If I was teaching a class then and most ultra marathon runners, if you would like ask or read about running a hundred mile ultra marathon race, we'll probably say any 50 miles would be like the minimum you would get to as weekly mileage. And in fact, most would probably say 70 miles a week or a hundred miles a week. There'd be some literature or research or athletes or people out there. Right. But I don't, I was like, I don't have that time, nor do I want to commit that amount of time to this. I don't need that amount of time. What I created was potent AF workouts that I was, al- I was able to run that hundred mile race, finish it, not only finish it, but took first place female at it. So not only did I actually finish the race with most people do not, even if they run all that extra mileage and I did not, but I took first place female. And then on top of that, like, I remember I had my breakdown at mile 85, if you've heard that podcast, but the first 60 miles of that race, I was fucking on cruise control. I was having the time of my life, just like running, getting to know people, a smile on my face. People were like, who is this chick? Why is she so happy running? (laughs) So I had I like six miles, no problem. I'm telling you, I felt fine. It was like you and I hanging out talking right now. That's what it was like. You can do more than you think. Most people think it's going to take so much time. It's going to take so much energy. It's going to take so much effort. If they even entertain that it's even possible, right? Some of you all are like, I I don't know if I could ever do that. There's no way I could do that. Whatever X is for you. I'm not, again, I'm not talking about ultra marathons here. I'm talking about whatever that ultra life thing is for you that you know sits on your heart and head but you haven't stepped into the arena yet because you're like, I, I don't know. It would take so much time. It would take so much money. It would take so much effort. And I want to offer, it doesn't have to, you can do more than you think. So I would offer for you to start to find evidence for that in your life already. Where have you done that? And then two, I would start to offer like, see your, see by my examples of what I've been able to do. Now that maybe you see that and you're like, oh shit, like, like really? Yes. Now, what do you want? Now start to explore what is that ultra life goal for you? What is that thing for you that's coming up where you're like, ah, oh, I want to, I want to do your version of an ultra. What is that for you? Now that you can see it's possible, I'm telling you. It's possible. And the principles and the things that I've used to achieve just those results, I'm not talking about any other ones. Those principles are totally available and possible for you. That is what I coach my clients on is taking, I've dissected what's allowed me to do that. And that's what I get to offer for you guys in coaching together. So start to consider now and see what is possible for you that you can do more than you think. Okay. Okay. I think the last thing that I wanted to say here in talking about this ultra life, and I think I got a little off track there on what I wanted to actually share earlier was, was that I didn't just stick at the marathons 
like I had done a couple mirror. I'd done one way early on in my early like twenties at like, and then I was training for like Boston with the second one. I was at a higher level, but I didn't just stay at the marathon. When I got invited in by that book and saw what was possible with ultras, I was captivated and like, yes, I did not want to stay average. That's just like not who I am. <laughs> I, I like, I'm totally, I'm out of the box. I'm different. I consider myself a rebel. Like you tell me the rules. I'm like, I'll go this way. No, thank you. Like that's the vibe. So I want you to break outside of the box, break some rules, be different. Don't be average. Figure out what your ultra life looks like where you cannot be average. And and so I didn't just stay at marathons. I said, I'm going to do ultras. And listen, there is nothing against staying at marathons. If that's for you, if that is your ultra life, for some people doing a 5K might feel like an ultra accomplishment. And then once they do that, they might say, oh, shoot. Okay, now, now where can I do more than I think a half marathon? That might be the next ultra goal, right? And stepping up. It might not be in fitness at all or health. Your ultra goal might be in your business. It might be in your family, right? So I, I'm not saying anything against marathon runners or 5K runners or anything like that. I just want to be clear. It's about, it's about you guys. I'm trying to show the point of like, you can see how like you can just stay at running marathons and you know, that's great. And that's still probably, that's 1% of the population only runs those last I checked. That's still really good. And it, unless that's your ultra, like that's your ultra, you doing more than you can think, then I would, then that's where you choose that next level. And that's what I did with ultra marathons. It's like, I did not want to be average. So you've got to, it's an ultra life is stepping outside of that average box. And then like doing the same thing that everybody else is doing and following the rules, like everyone playing it safe and comfortable. We don't do that here. Okay. All right. So this is all about, this is, this episode was all about, you can do more than you think. I'm going to expand on the other principles in some upcoming episodes. And I am really excited for this next season of the podcast, you guys. I've got a lot of great guests coming on. We're going to expand that even more. We've got a lot of great episodes for you guys that have kind of been in the backlog that are going to come out to play. So super excited to have you guys here. Welcome to the next season. And I will see you guys around next episode. Bye.